How are silicone rubber keypads made? Hi, I'm Mike Ryan, the CEO of RSP. Have you ever made a waffle? You needed a waffle iron, heat, and pressure to make a delicious breakfast. Well, now imagine that same process, but use a 250-ton waffle iron the size of a small minivan. While silicone can be molded by injection molding using liquid silicone rubber, most keypads are compression molded in that giant waffle iron. Compression molding is much more efficient than injection molding, resulting in a lower cost per unit, which means it's better suited for mass production. Some silicone tools have 10, 50, 100, even 200 cavities, meaning every couple of minutes you can produce up to 200 parts. So how does compression molding work? Silicone, prior to vulcanizing in the tool in the machine, is similar to Play-Doh. It's pliable. Color is added to the silicone to match your requirements. It is rolled out into sheets. And then, using software, we determine exactly what amount of silicone is required to mold your parts in that tool. It is carefully cut and weighed, and the pieces are placed strategically in the tool to ensure that there's not too much or too little of the material. The operator cycles the machine. The tray slides into the machine, heat and pressure are applied for anywhere between 30 seconds up to 10 minutes. The tray slides out and the operator, using gloves since the pieces are very hot and compressed air hoses, removes the silicone from the tool and you have your finished product. Of course it won't be printed at that point. This process repeats itself 24 hours a day, six days a week at our facility. This is obviously a very simple explanation. There are lots of other steps and procedures depending upon what is required. Thanks for watching. Uh -huh. If you have any questions for our experts, please give us a call or visit our website at rspinc.com.